more pet owners are opting to feed homemade raw diets instead of processed commercial food. This is a more natural way of feeding our pets, but a major reason owners get turned off of feeding raw is because they think it's too expensive. Is this true? Let's put this question to the test. Follow me as I go shopping for my three raw-fed pets, build them a balanced meal, and compare the prices to both a premium dry food and an average wet food. Let's see how expensive homemade raw diets really are. Just for reference, my 25-pound adult corgi eats about this much raw food daily, my 10-pound adult cat eats about this much, and my 4-pound adult ferret eats this much. So I'm feeding 1.2 to 1.5 pounds of raw meat, organ, bone, fish, and shellfish each day. What I'll be shopping for today is a raw meaty bone, liver, one other secreting organ, at least three different muscle meat proteins, at least one muscular organ, an oily fish, mussels, and potentially oysters. All right, let's start shopping. The first store that I'll be shopping at is a local supermarket that sources from farms in the area. And despite being locally sourced meat, they're very similar in price, if not cheaper, than meats at the grocery store. I've shopped for meats in many different cities, and I've always found markets like this, so it's very likely you will have similar shops to this in your area as well. This market is where I usually buy muscle meat, which takes up the bulk of the meal. Sometimes I'll also get secreting organ meats here, but the next store we'll be going to has a bit better selection. It can be a challenge finding the cheapest cuts per pound in the muscle meat section. Muscle meat like pork, chicken, beef, and turkey are in demand for us humans, so these cuts are going to be sold at a higher price. I like to check the meats in the back because the prices back here are usually the lowest. This is often because they weigh less than the packages in the front, but it also may be closer to the expiration date and marked down. Some muscle meats that are still attached to the bone or have skin and fat on them will bring down the price as well. For instance, these chicken thighs. These boneless, skinless, lean thighs are $3.69 per pound. This package of thigh meat has the bone included with skin and fat on them. These are $1.69 per pound. Removing the bone is a small price to pay for cheaper muscle meat. I'll be using their bones for bone broth later in the week. The raw meaty bones that I'll be getting from here are chicken necks because they're the perfect size for everyone to chew. The muscular organs available here are beef and chicken hearts, as well as chicken gizzards. The chicken hearts were a bit cheaper per pound than the beef heart, so I went with those. I also went over to the canned seafood section, but unfortunately they didn't have any oysters. The canned fish were also a bit expensive, and not to mention salted. My total haul from this market was chunked beef round, pork chops, chicken thigh, chicken hearts, chicken gizzards, and chicken necks. The next store I'll be going to is an Asian market. Asian markets are like a gold mine for raw feeders because of all of the different animal parts you can find. What I still need to find is liver, one other secreting organ meat, an oily fish, mussels, and canned oysters. Look at all of these unique meats. They also have a pretty good frozen and freeze-dried fish selection. My total haul from this market was beef liver, pork kidney, whole mackerel, and a package of cooked mussels. Unfortunately, they also didn't have canned oysters. I could have gone to Walmart to get these, but in the end, they would have just made the haul a bit more expensive. Since oysters were going to be my source of zinc in the meal, what I'll be using instead is a zinc picolinate supplement, which I'll be going over in a bit. I'd always rather use whole foods, but there are times where it makes more sense to use a synthetic nutrient. All right, let's take a look at everything. This is 14.6 pounds of meat and seafood, and it cost me a grand total of $40.15. But how long will it last me? And how much is it daily for each pet? Before I show you that, I want to also mention that I have three supplements that I purchased online a while back that I'll be using to balance the meal. Kelp powder, which adds in the missing iodine to the meal, zinc picolinate, which adds in the zinc that the oysters were supposed to provide, and vitamin E oil, which adds in the missing vitamin E. All other essential nutrients are provided through the meat and seafood, but if I wanted to make this haul even cheaper, I could have not purchased the mackerel and mussels and just used synthetic nutrients in their place. Here's what the supplements initially costed me when I got them. However, I won't be adding these prices into my total for today's haul since I've had them for a while. All right, I just formulated balanced meals for my dog, cat, and ferret. So here is what their daily meals will look like. 
Matsu's meal is 11 ounces, Tangy's is 4.8 ounces, and Choji's is 8.2 ounces. So this is 1.5 pounds of food total. But before we figure out the price of each raw meal, let's see how much I'd be spending feeding them a premium dry food and an average tier wet food. A premium dry food many owners feed is Origin Original, so let's take a look at the prices of this food on Chewy.com. For Matsu, a 13 pound bag will be $59.99. The directions say I should feed about one and a third cup daily. For cats, a 12 pound bag is $65.99. Ferrets have a similar nutrient requirement to cats, so Choji and Tangy would share this bag. The directions say I should feed Tangy a half cup daily, and I know Choji would need about a cup. This means I would be spending about $1.54 a day to feed Matsu, $0.69 cents a day to feed Tangy, and $1.37 a day to feed Choji a premium dry food. This totals to $3.60 a day for all three. Now, what if you can't feed a premium food, but you want to feed something that's better than kibble? Many owners will turn to wet food for this, so let's see how a lower tier wet food compares with the price of premium kibble and homemade raw. Let's use Purina 1 True Instinct. Their dog cans are 13 ounces and are $18.52 for a case of 12. The directions say I should feed Matsu 1 and 3 fourths cans daily. For cats, it's a case of 24 for the 3 ounce cans. The directions say I should feed Tangy about 3 cans, and I know Choji would need about 5 cans. This is where things get expensive. I would be spending about $2.70 a day feeding Matsu, $2.93 a day feeding Tangy, and $4.88 a day feeding Choji an average tier canned food. This totals to $10.51 a day for all three. Now, let's look at these homemade raw meals again. When feeding 1.5 pounds of food daily, I spend $1.95 for Matsu, 79 cents for Tangy, and $1.39 for Choji. This totals to $4.13 daily for all three of them, and this haul will last me about 10 days. Now, just for the sake of other dog owners that have larger breeds, let's change Matsu's weight to 50 pounds. The price per day would be just about double the price of Matsu's meal now, and that will be for raw, canned, and dry. Now, let's see what each food costs me monthly. The dry food would cost a grand total of $108, the wet food would cost a whopping $315, and for homemade raw, $123.90. When comparing this to an average tier canned food, I would be saving $191.10. And when comparing it to the premium dry food, I would be spending $15.90 more a month to feed raw. Looking at this from a daily standpoint, that's only 53 cents more a day. This brings me to the main question. Is feeding a homemade raw diet more expensive than feeding commercial food? Well, it really depends on what type of commercial food you feed and what meats you formulate with. For me, spending 53 cents more a day is a small difference to feed an unprocessed, natural, and balanced diet that's full of bioavailable nutrients and moisture. Now that the cost is out of the way, the responsibility of creating a homemade raw diet may feel like another roadblock. But I promise it's a piece of cake once you understand the basics. Watch this video to see how I meal prep balanced meals for Matsu, Tangy, and Choji.